which could have really gone either way at that point. Like, there's the door. But she was just like, that's kind of sweet. I was like, I do. I just kind of dig your ears. They're very, I don't know. I think that's kind of your best feature. Your eyes are very beautiful, but your ears are very striking. I said, I'll show you my tat if you, show, if you let me, if I can touch your ears. And she said, all right. And I'm thinking, I'm going to get laid tonight. So she comes over, sits next to me on the couch and shit, and I fucking pull up my sleeve. And I have a long sleeve shirt on, so I'm like, it takes me 10 minutes to pull up my fucking sleeve, and my arm flab is hanging out the sides of it. And I show her my tattoo. She said, that's oh so sweet. And I said, all right, well, let me touch your ears now. She's like, oh, go ahead. And so, you know, I fucking touch her ears the first time I'm actually touching her body, and I was immediately hard. <laughs> but she don't know that, because I'm wearing jeans. So um, she stays on the couch, and we're just chatting and shit. And at one point, she just kind of lays in my lap. She's like, I'm so tired. I was like, why don't you lay down? <laughs> so she lays down in my lap, you know, face up. <laughs> so I'm sitting there, and she's sitting kind of under my gut. <laughs> and I'm having to, like, pull my shit aside <laughs> to see her eyes. So she's laying with her head in my lap, and I'm sitting kind of over her, and I'm just like, I, I got to be an idiot not to go for it. Because, I, you know, again, like, I don't know. As far as I know, maybe she's just friendly, and she's kind of like a f one of those physically friendly people, and maybe, like, I'm reading too much into it, and if I try to kiss her, she's going to be like, ew, no. I just like to lay my head in people's laps. <laughs> And then finally, I was like, you know what, fuck it, fuck it, fortune favors the bold. And so I'm looking at her, and she's looking at me, and I lean down, and we kiss. And I was just like, holy shit, does she, I think she likes me. <laughs> so we start kissing, and we start kissing some more, and we reposition on the couch, and we start pretty heavily making out. And she starts grinding into me, like she starts dry humping me. <laughs> and I'm like, I am fucking definitely getting laid tonight. <laughs> But the problem is, she is grinding into me so hard, and my dick is in such an awkward position <laughs> that the inside of the zipper of my jeans oh. is grinding oh. against the back of my dick. So here's like, you know, here's the, here's my dick. To be honest, here's my dick. This is the top, here's the back. Like, this is the front. And then there's like the cut here, and then. So, this area right here, like, you know, under the hood, the hood kind of. You know, the, the, the collar goes away when. When you get hard. Here is, here's this getting just driven into the fucking zipper, through my underwear, bang, 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 scraping. And I'm sitting there going, making out, and I'm like, of two minds, because I'm like, this is awesome. I, can, I can't put a stop to this, because who knows where is it going to go. I've never had a one-night stand in my life. This could be my first one-night stand. I'm, I'm not, what am I going to fucking complain that it hurts a little? And then the other side was like, fucking ow. <laughs> Just, ow, and in my mind's eye, I'm just seeing it as like, you know, the fucking thing is just falling off. <laughs> just hanging off by a little piece of skin. But I don't want to say anything because it's going so well. And then she's like, you know, we stop and she's like, don't you have to catch a plane? I was like, well, I was supposed to, but like, I'd be happy to stay all night. I was like, but like, we don't have to do anything. I could sleep here on the couch. I just, I, I just don't really want to go. I'm really kind of into sitting here and making out with you. <laughs> And she's like, um, all right, and we go back to make out. And then after a little while, she stands up, and she's like, do you want to come into the bedroom? And I'm like, yes. <laughs> so we go in the bedroom. She starts lighting some fucking candles. And then she goes into her bathroom, closes the door. And immediately, I'm like, because <laughs> I want to see how bad the damage is. And it's fucking bad. <laughs> like, it looks like under, under, the, under the tip of... Bear with me. Under the tip of the back of my cock looks like I, a bullet wound. Like it looked like somebody took a nine and was like, poof. And at this point, I have an open fucking sore on my cock. The thing they warn you about, you know, in phys ed from 1987 forward. 
never have sex with an open wound. And you know, in all those years of school and all that fucking health education, I was like, who would ever do that? And I'm sitting there going, I'm about to do it. Because there's no way I'm gonna say no to all this. And she seems cool, it's like, she's, I don't know, maybe she got VD, maybe she don't, I don't fucking care. At this point, I'm just so into it and kind of wrapped it up in the moment and the pain, I'm just like putting the pain away and shit, trying to do Taoist theory on it. Like, to be great is to go on, to go on, is to go far, to go far, is to return, you know. She comes out, fucking sexy shit on. We go to the bed, we start making out. My clothes start coming off. I start blowing out candles. Because <laughs> she starts reaching for my shirt, I'm like... <laughs> Because I know if she gets one look, it's all over. Um, and we start fooling around, you know, fucking without any clothes. And then suddenly the moment of truth, man. And, and I'm like, do I, I, do I just stop? Should I stop? No, fuck it, boom. And I'm inside. And it was like sticking my dick in battery acid. It just hurt so fucking much. And I was just like, mmm, ow, mmm, ow. Because I'm, I'm a real I lay on the bed kind of guy. Because if I'm on top and I lose my balance, <laughs> she's fucking dead. <laughs> Are you all right? Do you have any friends we can call? Come pick me up. So, um, so I'm on, on the bottom, she's on the top and shit like that. And she's going to town and I'm in agony, agony fucking. But I'm like, I gotta, I'm, I'm no way I'm putting a stop to it. And finally, you know, it came to an end and shit like that. And we spent the night in each other's arms. And a year, like a year later, we were married. So after, it's a very sweet story. So after we're married, <laughs> after we're married for, I don't know, about a month, we were chit-chatting and shit about the origin of our relationship. And I was like, did you know <laughs> that the first time we had sex, I was sporting an open wound? <laughs> And she was like, kiss, kiss, eh? <laughs> and I was like, the first time we had sex, I, I had an open wound. She's like, what, what are you, fucking nuts? Why would you tell me that now? Why didn't you tell me that then? Why would you even have sex? What are you, some kind of pig? And I was just like, you created the open wound. And she said, how? And I was like, all the fucking dry humping. And she was like, and you still went through with it? I said, yeah. She said, why? And I was like, because I love you. with just a, a Maddie Damon Academy Award winning performance. Because I love you. She said, that is so sweet. And she got a little glassy eyed and shit. But meanwhile, cut back to a year before, I was like, ow, ow. And I wasn't really doing it for love, more like, holy shit, this, this chick's fucking me. And I just met her. So that, that's, that's the worst, I'll never work that into a script, because I don't know. Oh, come on. Nah, I just did it here and shit. Because then everyone, would go, everyone here would go see the movie and be like, heard it. <laughs> He's talking about his fucking wife. His fucking wife cut his dick wide open for him, before they met. Did a real Lorena Bobbin on him and fucking. He still fucked her. Because his, his options are limited. Um, but I, uh, that, was, that was it. That was the worst kind of sexual experience that, that I ever had. But I married the chick, so it's okay. Thanks. You're, you're welcome. Thanks for, <laughs> thanks for making me... Just flashing on the moment that your parents are writing the tuition checks and going like, I wonder what the $5,000 student activity fund fee is for. So you can sit here and listen to, how about I cut my fucking cock open. 